All right, Oscar nominated Florence Pugh. Has that sunk in yet? No, it hasn't. <laughs> I, I keep on saying things, but it doesn't seem to make sense in my head yet. You know forevermore you're now known as I Oscar know. nominated. I think that's the coolest thing about it is that no matter what happens, I get that name. Mm -hmm. It's pretty great. So talk me through this morning. What was it like for you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, lots of <laughs> yesterday. Everybody asked if I was going to be watching the show, and to me, that just seemed like the scariest and most panic attack kind of inducing thing. So I decided to sleep. Uh, but my publicist asked me if I was going to do that. Could I keep my phone on loud? So at five thirty, I heard the phone ring, and it was nuts. Best slash weirdest alarm ever <laughs> to date, or maybe for the rest of my life. So we saw the Instagram post, yeah. um, and that was that like in the moment. That was the literally. Moment? I was on the phone, and then I turned it around to speaker because I wanted to just take it all in. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I was literally in bed. There, yeah. there you go. I was I was in bed. I just woke up. You're not a big fan of pajamas. No, no <laughs> evidently not. <laughs> I like the avocados were a good yep. choice too. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keeping so, it real. So who was the first person you told? Uh, I called my mum. Um, and she was screaming and driving and had the phone nearby and she was just melting down. And then I tried to call my dad and I was just in the middle of saying, Daddy, 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 guess what? I got nominated for it. And his phone went dead because he had no battery. No. So that was fun. But he found out in the end, which was okay. great. Okay. <laughs> so this is going to be the hardest thing for you to decide, but who are you going to take to the Oscars? Oh no, that's such a horrid. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I'm. Oh, that's not a. That's not a, a question I answer on TV. <laughs> I feel like that's gonna be a really tough one. Is, I don't know how many you can take. I, I think you're not even allowed to take many. So um, maybe I'll just let my parents fight. Fight till death. Oh we'll see no. what happens. <laughs> and then obviously the other question is, what are you gonna wear? To the I have no idea. I just found out a few hours ago. <laughs> well, you always look beautiful. Thank so you I so feel much. Like it's gonna Thank be something you. Amazing. No, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Have you spoken to Sierra or Greta yet? I spoke to Greta. Okay. Uh, she called me just before we got on the phone and started doing loads of interviews. Mm -hmm. um, and she's so happy. She just screamed down the phone at me for ages. And she's just so proud of the film. Yeah. And so happy that we've all got recognized and the film got recognized. And it's it's such a, an amazing feeling. I'm not surprised. I saw the film ages ago and was like, they have to clean up at the Oscars. Aww. I was so hoping you were going to get nominated because I thought you were incredible. It was just such a great take on that character. Yeah. Um, for you, why is it? It may be extra special to be nominated for playing her. I mean. um, a, Amy's had uh, an image that she, she hasn't been able to shake off for her entirety of her life. And um, much of it lies on the fact that she did something stupid when she was a child. Mm -hmm. And I think when we came to this version, we really wanted to give her more than just that, more than just the girl that burnt the book. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to give her drive and ambition and make her fun and also make her naughtiness fun. Um, and I think that in its own, I suppose, reason is, is amazing. She's never had this kind of limelight before. Yeah. and. Um, and we did it. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And now I know you girls like lived in the same place yes, when you were we shooting. Did. Um, have you all been together since? Will the Oscars be like the first time you guys all? No, we back? did. We did press together, right. and we did the New York premiere together. So okay. that was amazing. Okay. But it's, we just honestly, it's very hard to get us to stop talking. And uh, <laughs> Greta actually had to buy a megaphone halfway through shooting because it was the conversation that you see in the film honestly happens in between takes as well, Aww. and it's just talking over the top of one another all the time. Aww. So it's always good when we get back together. So how are you going to celebrate? Because you've only found out a few hours ago. You've yes, got a whole day there's champagne in the fridge, uh, obviously. And I'm hoping maybe I'm going to go have a really good Italian later. I mm. might have some pasta. What's yeah. your What's your like your pasta of choice if um, you're celebrating? Something creamy. I think I might do something creamy. I might do a, I might do something carby or truffle. Yeah, I love you. You're so not from LA. This is no. The best. I'm gonna I'm gonna do <laughs> truffle like pasta. Rip. With a good good couple of shaves of parmesan. Oh my god! Yeah. You are my girl. I'm so excited. Yes. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.